focus features are swinging for the fences, especially in 2021. Kevin Gyronaut, a project that was um, potentially a, a fatality of the COVID situation, not only resurged and um, found a whole bunch of different players for this larger ensemble, but landed in the distribution arms of the focus features folks. How do you feel about the prospects of this project? Um, what possible future does it have in terms of film festival gala premieres? So we're talking uh, John Michael McDonough's um, The Forgiven, which has Ray Fiennes and Jessica Chastain. Um, and Focus Features has snapped up notably the worldwide, worldwide rights, but not North America yet. So um, that's interesting. It could mean that the film already might, might have a bigger player uh, within the U.S., but all that aside, it, it does give a major boost to this film um, that was kind of shooting under the radar. Um, but now that it's wrapped, we know that joining uh, uh, Ray Fiennes and Jessica Chastain are uh, Matt Smith, Christopher Abbott, um, Abby Lee, and a bunch of other names as well. And it's quite a cast. Um, and it's a pretty exciting prospect for this filmmaker uh, who we haven't had anything from in a few years. and. Uh, I think it's one possibly that, again, as we've said in the past weeks, is uh, a potential candidate for Ken. So, debuted with The Guard in 2011, I believe that was at Sundance. Cavalry in 2014, and the little blip on the radar a little bit, uh, War on Everyone, um, that uh, was launched in 2016. So a fairly significant time between his third and fourth feature project. Um, great cast here. We were griping last week that Jessica Chastain sort of like fell off the, I don't want to call it indie route, but certainly, you know, she had committed herself to larger studio projects. And this seems like um, not a return to form for her, but something that has a lot more um, to say, I think. Um, so this is based on a novel by Lawrence Osborne, um, and uh, it's been a celebrated um, item in his uh, bookography, if you want to call it that. So there's, there's a lot of things working for this project. Um, wh what's your sense about um, what we might see on screen? Yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, it's a tale of... Um, uh, of um, a wealthy English uh, couple who go to the Moroccan desert for a party on the way, um, they accidentally hit someone in the road and kill them. And from there, uh, the sort of evening spirals out of control. So it, it seems like something very much in um, McDonough's wheelhouse. I, I think it's, we're probably can expect um, a lot of savage dialogue and, uh, and, and um, pointed situations, I think. And I, and I think, you know, Chastain's at her best when she has like really complex material to work with. And I think this is going to be a real, and particularly with Ray Fiennes co-starring to bounce, to bounce against, um, it's going to be a nice um, dynamic between them, I think. Yeah, certainly uh, we, we tend to compare apples with apples in this case. Um, I, I think a lot about the other uh, McDonough again uh, in Bruges and that was quite uh, pointed dialogue, like you say, that's a good point. So yeah, it's, it's something that we'll likely see in the 2021 calendar. Uh, I believe Cannes might be a bit too early, uh, seeing that the production just uh, was just completed. So it really depends on who, that, who they've um, lassoed as the potential distributor um, for North American. That's going to play a lot in in positioning this film either for 21 or 22. So I'm Eric Lavallee, I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com and this is Kevin Jagernot, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge.